Good morning. Okay, today is a brand new day. It is June 15th. It was Thursday, June 15th. And I'm not I'm not going to go around and show you guys like where I'm placing these or anything like that because um there's this thing that there's not this thing. It says directly in the Bible that if you go and do something and you show it to the world or you tell people about it, you are seeking man's, like, man's, like, words of greatness and blessings and stuff like that. And you don't, you won't benefit the glory of God. But if you keep it to yourself, you will reap what God, God's blessings. And ultimately, that's the best blessing. So... I'm going to meet in the middle about this because I prayed about it and I was originally going to take you guys and show me where I'm about the these cards. I'll tell you what these in a minute. But then I was pray I was praying about it last night and then this morning I was just like God basically spoke to me, gave me a change of heart and um cuz I was on the fence of doing it. And this is how we're going to do this. So, these are some Bible um gospel tracks. This is like the greatest gift and there's all kinds of different ones. These are just the one I have on hand. I have 50 or I have 89 of them. This one's the greatest gift. This is um, if you had three minutes to live. Um, get out of hell free card. And on the back of them, it's, it talks about the gospel. And then there's ones that have are like pamphlets and stuff like that. That, um... What was I going to say? That. What was I trying to say? That. um, That. Talk about the same thing. And they're just different pamphlets. And they've got like kids ones and stuff like that. So. um, I ordered a bunch of those. You can go on Amazon. You can get them. I go through Bazoogan and um, Living Waters. And something. I forget the other one. But you can get free Bible tracks. So I want to go over where you can get these. These are, like I said, these are gospel. These are Bible track gospel. These are gospel tracks and stuff like that. They're just like gospel cards. And, um, hold on, I'll show you some. Okay. Lighting is a little bit better in here. Like I said, I have other ones. There is other ones. Um, my grandparents run the food ministry through the church and during that time and before they would do the flea market where uh, four, four or five different church would get together and they had this booth and um, we would like go and set up and we would have these and the magnets and um, be these and the magnets and like the Panera bread that we um, bagged up, gave out to people. Um, it was really good. So, once when the flea market shut down and um, my grandfather passed away, my grandmother, like, put him up. It's not nothing against her. She didn't do anything, but um, she put up the boxes of Bible tracks. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she very well gave them to the church and they gave them out and stuff like that. But I think there is still a couple of boxes of, like, the sleeves of the Bible tracts and my goal is is to show them to you guys and um get them out and the reason why she boxed them up was one because my grandpa died and it wasn't like it it wasn't like a thing that she's not a Christian she's she's a full believer but um it was just my grandpa died and, you know, dealing with his funeral and everything. And then, like, remove or like re moving stuff around the house. And then trying to keep up the food ministry and her health. And just... They just got boxed. They just got boxed up, basically. And it was nobody's fault. But, like, this one has... Um, it said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have birth have everlasting life is what this one says and when you flip it over like down here at the bottom you can write you can write your name I was writing like our church 
And I think what I'm going to do is, see, when I was writing the church's name on these, I was like convicted and doing so. So only a few of these have it. And I think, I think there's a reason why only a few have them. So I do what the good Lord tells me. And then if something doesn't seem right, then, you know, because if I place these somewhere and they have um, our church drill and I, I don't want our church getting into trouble. And I think God was protecting us this time. So anyways, it says John 3, 16 is probably the most well-known Bible verse. It's seen, it's, it, it's seen at sporting events, on bumper stickers, on t-shirts, on signs. But what does it mean? God loves you so much that he made a way for you to escape the coming judgment. It is appointed for it is appointed for a man to die once, and after that com comes judgment. Hebrews 9, 24. How will you how will you do? Have you ever told a lie, stolen anything, hated someone? Jesus calls hatred murder. Matthew 5.22 Even or ever use God's name carelessly, that is blasphemy and is very serious offense. Exodus 27 Innocent or guilty, heaven or hell, God does not want you to go to hell. 1 Timothy 2.4 and 2 Peter 3.9 He loves you so much that 2,000 years ago, he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to earth. God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to earth. Jesus, being fully God and fully man, lived a perfect life, fulfilled, fulfilled the law, and then willingly became, became the perfect sacrifice for the sin of the whole world. He died on the cross to pay for your sin, 1 John 2.2. 2. Jesus rose from, the fed, rose from the fed, rose from the dead, defeating sin, defeat, death, and the evil. The payment of your sin has been made, but you must receive it. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Act 16, 31. If you repent and believe in God, then God will forgive all your sins and give you eternal life. Mark 1, 15 and John 3, 36. 3, 36. So that is just one of them. And, you know, I want to say this before I show you the other ones, but... And what I was going to talk about in this video, but you don't have to um, have confrontation with somebody. You don't have to talk to anybody. Um, here's the thing. God wants us to spread the word of God. God wants us to spread his word about him. And sometimes it's a little bit hard. And sometimes you'll talk to somebody, start to get to like know somebody. And it ain't like strike them a conversation about like trying to give them a track. But you know, conversations get cut short or something and you're like, hey, I have one of these. Do you want to take it? Take it and they'll read it. And, you know, God calls us in different ways to evangelize to people. And there's people like Billy Graham that go and speak to people and that that's fine and great. And I'm not saying that everybody needs to be like Billy, Billy Graham. And I'm not saying that everybody shouldn't be like Billy Graham. God calls us in different ways to evangelize the people. And um, the gospel tracts are good for that. So I have a list of what and all I want to do with the gospel tracts. I have coming to my house a good, let's see, I have 89 of them in my house currently. And then um, I have like 500 coming uh maybe 600 coming and then I'm going to go to my grandmother's and see where, see where those boxes are. And I'm going to give those out. My goal for, to the end of 2023. And I say the end of 2023 and going after that is, but for, I have six months and in that six months, I want to get rid of, not get rid of, I want to place these as much as I can and get them out there because if they are sitting, they're not reaching people. So I have a list of places that you could put these and um, you could put your name on them. Woo! You could put your name on them. You could put um, your phone number on them. You can put your email on them. You can put, you can put whatever you want on them for people to reach out to you. But I'm just saying you don't, you don't have to put any information on them and give them out. 
If you go to afterlifecatalog.com, it that's Brazugan. That's who Brazugan deals with. Um, if you don't want to go like big, you can get like a set of them, like a sleeve of them. But you get um you fill out the thing like your name, address, and stuff like that. And then you they send you 30 um gospel tracks free every month and then you can go give those out so i want to go get into the list that i have there is plenty of other places that you could put these and you just got to be creative and listen to god and if god says hey pick up um pick up that pole and if you pick up that pole you're like god why would i do that but if you pick up that pole god's telling you a reason to pick up that pole and so you could place one so we're curious by nature so be curious listen to god but let me get over there and show you that list okay so before i get onto the list i wanted to share this with you guys um really easy convenient way um uh, like i said the tracks are free but sunday i ended up in the dollar store and i'm god i'm not saying this to like brag and boast and to lose the earthly glory but dollar tree has the bible um has the the new testament holy bible these these just happen to be the king james version i like the new king james version it's easier to read but it's more along the lines of like the traditional um nothing missing nothing cut out bible and it's easy to understand now get you a translation of the bible that um, that you can understand but it's not missing any of the details like there's bibles that state that Mary did not give birth to Jesus and that Jesus was not on the cross and that God didn't create the beginning and the end. And, you, you know, like, it, it's not biblical. So make sure it's actually, like, biblically speaking, but one that you can understand. So what I've done is I went to the Dollar Tree. I picked these up. Um, they're black, There's black and white ones. I got 23 of them. Uh, some of them went to my grandmother. So she can give them out for the food ministry and the homeless ministry. But um, a really simple, easy way to give out the gospel. And it has a Bible to reference to the, the um, gospel on the back with the, mark, the Bible scriptures on it. So I just put a track in there behind it and closed it back up. Um... So I have nine of these left. I gave out, I have nine out of 11 left that I had. Like I said, I split them, but I gave my grandmother one more than me. Like here is another one. This one is, uh, made Jesus be with you. Let me show you that one. I think that one's pretty cool. That one comes out in May. Like here's one that says got peace. Um, I know I have that one. May the Lord be with you. I think that is so cool. It's like, you know, um, Star Wars. Like, may the, force be, may the fourth be with you. But we have these. So, really cool. I thought that was awesome. So, I've been, like I said, I've been putting them in here. There's different ones. Um, two plus two equals all in here so these will be going into um shoot what the heck are they called these are going to go into the community public libraries the one that you they're all around neighborhoods i'm gonna put these in there um i'm not gonna say what locations and stuff because i'm trying to help you guys spread the word of god and but also in the same time not get myself in trouble and with the lord so i'm doing what the lord god told me to do Okay, so I have a list of different places that I want to place the gospel tracks and mark um, book marks and everything like that. Um, before I get into this, I have you'll see you'll hear things repeated, but reason why it's repeated is because I have the location with each like place. Does that make sense? And some of these I don't have the location to. But, like, I know, let me, so, like, uh, let me explain. So, like, some stores, I know, like, all the different locations, and I know when I'll be hitting those up. 
other locations, I know they exist, but I don't go there a lot. And I like those stores, but I don't go there a lot. And um, I want to... I want to remember each one. Does that make sense? Okay, hold on. I just remembered one. Okay, so. Okay. So, before I say this one, people, um, some people did, like, their, um, like, their wedding, um, their wedding, they did, like, the guest favors, and they had them on the table, and they set them in there, like, they had a Bible track, they either had, like, a gospel track, where it was, like, a pamphlet, or, like, one of these, or a couple of these, and they made the bags for their guests, and that's what went with them. Um, sometimes, well, all, when you go to leave tracks, when you go to leave tracks somewhere, like on a table surface or something, make sure you always leave like two. Um, that away. How can I say this? That away. Some like when you feel led to leave two, but usually if you leave two, people are more willing to pick up one and take it because they don't want to take the last one. Does that make sense? So make sure you leave two. Okay. Now, this is the places that I have wrote down. Um, it's, you got any of the thrift stores. You can go to the thrift stores and put them, like, in the shoes or the purses, like, in the pockets. Um, clothing, like, um, like, pants clothing, like, the pockets, shirt pockets, um, jacket pockets. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, just different things that you can, like, place them. And same, like, same thing with these other places, but you can do that with them in the thrift stores. Um, you can place them literally, like, let me, let me see. I don't have a, I don't really have a box with me. But if you have, like, one of the boxes that has, like, something in it, you can just, like, set it down in, like, the front of it behind the plastic or, like, you know, whatever it is, you can set it there. Um, so the thrift stores... You could do the gas pumps where, like, you know how you take where you put your card in at. You just set one in there for the next person that pulls up. They're going to take it and read it. Um, <clears throat> inside, some of these interlap with each other. So, like, if there is, I don't go around and I don't, I mean, I could, but I don't go around to, like, case, cases of pop and, like, pop them, pop open the handles and slide one in there. You can do that. I just, I haven't done that. Um, but you can slide them down in there. Like, just slide it down in the hole and it'll fall down in there. Um, same thing with the liquor aisle. Um, drinks. Um, like snacks. Snacks being the same way. Like, you can pop one in one of the snack things. Um, like the snack containers, you could, like, pop it with, don't break the seal on anything, is what I'm saying. Um, let me think. You could, like, yeah, you could do that. Um, so, like, the gas station inside the gas station, you know, at different locations and stuff. Um, like, Walmart and Kroger's, the clothing, like, the, you know, sticking them inside the clothes. When you donate clothes. So, when you go to donate clothes, say, for instance, I'm going to donate this hoodie. And say, you know, I can slide one right here in the hoodie. In my hoodie pocket. I don't know if y'all can see this. I can slide one right here in my hoodie pocket. And donate it. Um, because whoever those are going to go to. Is going to go to them. So that's really cool. Um, somebody said elevator shafts. You could pop down the elevator shafts. Because you got to remember people service. People service the elevator shafts. Um, let's see. So like. The liquor. You could pop them down in there. Um. I forget what it was, but I think it was like bull, bull and cock or something like that. It was a drink I saw yesterday. Um, it was like root beer and ginger ale. And they come, they come in the glass container still. And there's like, sometimes there's four to a pack. Sometimes there's six and it's the cardboard, you know, you carry it. 
you could pop one of those right inside there between the drink and the cardboard and it sits right there um you know so anywhere that you can easily like slide one in and it's out of the way uh is a good place to put them because they can't I'm not trying to be mean or say this in a rude way, but it's not going to fall out if they go to move it around, but then they're going to see it when they get home. You know what I mean? Or like in their car or something like that. So they're going to see it when it's not in the store. It's going to go with them. And you're, it's making sure that the Bible track goes with them. Um, so like Walmart, Kroger's the same way. Dollar Tree, same way. Anything that you or anywhere that you can see that you can slide one, go for it. Um, and the books at public libraries. So, same thing, like, the public library and the community libraries, you have a book. This just still happens to be our Wednesday night Bible study. But you can take one and pop it right inside. You can do it to all of them. Pop it inside. And then make sure that anybody that goes to get those books at the public library. Or, the community library, like, the actual buildings. You can do that too. Um, I would try to put them somewhere where it's in the middle or towards like the end or just something that way when the librarian opens them or whatever, like it's not going to fall out and it's ensuring that they go home with them. Um, I have, I'm trying not to repeat some of these. So like um, I have another thrift store, another thrift store, um, the lottery areas. So you know how, like, you got, like, the lottery gambling area and, like, the gas stations and the stores? You could pop one of those there. Um, rest stops, pop some of those there. Um, in the bathrooms, on the counters, uh, where people go to take their maps out, the guides. You could pop some of those there. Um, you could pop some on the counter. You could pop some at the um, at the vending machine, so just like you could set it where the money goes, but you know don't push it in there. Make sure it's not gonna fall out, but they can get it out. Um, ATMs same way. Um, on cars, so I've never done this, but I have seen. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I know, like I know I've seen. I know I've seen it. I just can't place where I've seen it, but I. You gotta be careful when you go to place them on cars. But um you could place them on cars. I think I wanna say it was a church get together and somebody like placed them on the cars. If I'm not mistaken. I I believe. I believe that's what happened. I'm not exactly like I said, I can't remember. This was like years and years and years ago. Um, but you could place them like right on the window seal, you know. Um or was I? Oh, mailboxes. If you're going for a walk, you can like slide it right in the mail. You know, you just pop it right in somebody's mailbox. Um, speaking of mailboxes, you know, like where you go to, you know, like the, the blue mailbox bins that people put their mail into and then like the mailman picks them up from there. You can slide a couple of those in there. You could put them in the envelopes where you're shipping stuff back out. Um, returns. Um, if you run a small business, you could pop some of those in, you could pop some of these in there and the small businesses. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, okay. So mailboxes, um, on the cars, the bathrooms, porter potties, you know, you can pop, you can pop them in there. Um, we have a bulk store in Cincinnati that... Like, literally, it, you pay by the pound for, like, clothes and stuff like that and books and whatnot. So, you could pop, I can go there and pop them in, um, find a bulk store. Like, it's a thrift, it's literally a thrift store, but I think it's St. Vincent Paul's thrift store, but pop them in the clothes. Um, what else is there? Liquor stores, you know, the alcohol beverages, you could pop them in there. Um... Here's another thrift store. You could take them to the parks. Um, somebody, they have the Ten Commandment coins. I haven't, like, came across them myself where they're not, like, plastic. But you could take these and put, like, a rock, like, a little pebble or a rock on top of them. Put them on a park bench. Um, you could slide them in, like, the map centers. 
um, on trails do the same way you can do that um, sports stores you know the clothing at the sports stores the camping gear the uh, hunting gear and all that you can do that um, let's see you know just giving them out to people you can do donation bins so like um, let me let me fix this so I can Okay, so like the donation bins that you see at like McDonald's or Burger King or like firefighters with their thing, you know, pop, place money in there too, but you drop these off in there and you can, you know, give them out to their, um, let's see, VBS, you can give them out of Vocation Bible School, you can give them out Revival. Oh, did I put this one here? Oh, but yeah, okay. You can put them in the Bibles at church, in the offerings at church. Um, you can put them, you can put in the hymnals at church. You can place them on the seats at church. Um, you know, because you got to remember, you're not only touching the lives of the people that aren't at church. You're also going to be touching, you also want to touch the lives of the people that are in church. Because not only, like, getting somebody to come to church and they give their life to Christ. Like get having somebody come to church is a big step. But now that they're in church, you still they're still working on healing and being amended. And even the people that are saved are still working on being healed and amended and learning and growing. So these are always great for inside the church. Um weighty groups. Whew. So anytime that you're in a waiting room you could place them there. You can set them on the seats. Set them, you know, in like the mail. Um, if you have a clipboard, like the, the cork boards, you could pin them up there. Um, parks are really good. I just saw somebody take a um, track. It was a kid's track. And they took some scotch tape. And they taped it up to the bottom of the park inside the tunnel thing. And that tape, and it was the it was one specific, specifically for kids, so that's really good to reach out to. Um, laundry mats, park trails, um, like they have money ones. I actually I think I ordered some of them, but they have ones that look like money. You could place those inside the dryer, leave the door open. Um, same thing. I like parks and things. Things are gonna grab somebody's attention. And go, hey, somebody left some money here. Let's pick that up. Um. I already said, like, mail being sent out. Um, if you fly, you could do, like, airplane seats and at the airport. Um, so, literally, like, anything you can slip one into. So, man, I wish I could show you. I wish I had something. But it, anything that you could slip something into. So, you know, like, if you're in the store and somebody's going, eh, I'm going to say Walmart. If you're in Walmart and you see, like, the... Um, like the the fanny packs and the like the pride um, stuff where it's got like pockets or whatever you can open a pocket and slide it in there you can um, you know anywhere that anywhere that you can fit it fit it in there and another thrift store so these are just places that you could put them I hope you guys enjoy um, don't forget to like subscribe comment if you want to see more Jesus content and I'll see y'all in another video. Bye, guys.